Greetings viewers and welcome to the Shrinidorn, Siri Dawn. I probably didn't pronounce it correctly, but it's the big museum here in Kallison Province, Isan, northeastern Thailand. Let's check it out. Well, do you like dinosaurs? Oh, I do. This is the place, isn't it? So I don't know about that dinosaur. Seen better days. Maybe that dinosaur was attacked by another dinosaur. We can only speculate. And I'm quite partial to the scarf on this dinosaur too. There you go. Did they have scarves back in the Jurassic period? Maybe. So, as a retired science teacher, I'm kind of loving this, loving this eye candy, all about the sun, and of course, um, he was Nicholas Copernicus, who first uh, discovered that uh, everything revolves around the sun. Nicholas Copernicus, one of my favourite scientists. How about you? Excuse the background noise. And this really is uh, bringing back uh, memories now. 
The three major types of rock, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rock. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to my science classes as we speak. Love a bit of geology, like astronomy too, but uh, hey, geology rocks, I reckon. Okay, so we've had astronomy and geology, and but you know, I'm quite partial to uh, a little bit of uh, evolutionary science as well. Shout out to Charles Darwin. Chuck, let's check it out. Well, that's something you don't see every day. A couple of friendly Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Dino and friends. Let's keep moving. So being a bit of a history buff and science buff and retired social studies and science teacher, I do love, I love museums. I love museums. What a great museum this place is, hey? Awesome. This would be um, the proverbial must do, must see in Callison. So I've heard it said, never smile at a crocodile. Sage advice, I reckon. 
I'd also say beware of crocodile tears. So the Triceratops, probably my favourite dinosaur. I mean, uh, if what our archaeologist tells us is true, the Triceratops, you know, stood up to the bully boy in the schoolyard, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and uh, you know, that's some serious weaponry there, the Triceratops. So I'm a bit partial to the Triceratops. Do you have a favourite dinosaur? If you want to opine please make a note in the comments section. Keep it classy, of course. So we spoke before about Barney and friends. Barney being that sort of friendly Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, but you know, let's not forget Dino from the Flintstones. What was Dino? Was he a brontosaurus? Was he a little bit too small? I don't know if uh, the Flintstones was a truly accurate um, historically based cartoon, but um, I used to love those Hanna-Barbera cartoons on a Saturday morning, including the Flintstones. And all of these memories are flooding back as I uh, walk around this wonderful Shrinidorn, probably mispronounced it again, museum here in Kalasin, Isan, northeastern Thailand.
So the classic jewel, the heavyweight title, the T-Rex, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Triceratops. The ancient battle. Okay, we've got a quote from Charles Darwin. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. There you go, Charles. Cheers for that, Chuck. A little bit of Christmas spirit. 
a little bit of Christmas spirit. I'll tell you what, I, I, like, his, uh, I like his Christmas hat, the T-Rex. Looking all right, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I'm quite partial to this Christmas tree too. It's going all right. Well, the Stegosaurus, Stegiosaurus, Stegosaurus, um, you know, quite partial to these guys too. Um, and they've got some weapons and defences too against predation, so um, yeah, it's a serious herbivore, isn't it? So there you go folks, Shrinodon, or Siri Nadon, Siri Nadon Museum, Callison. Just magic. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.